All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Uh, got a really good story from the Vox and this guy who uh, I really like in Milheiser uh, talking about the Supreme Court hands down a temporary but significant victory for gun control. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Before we do, uh, I had a, a, a little thing I saw uh, come up on my alerts today from Palmetto State Army. It was the Panzer EGX. 12 gauge bullpup shotgun and so for some reason i'm getting into shotguns now and this is one of them so i saw this and it had 319 dollars for the black one with free shipping so that's cool gotta break them in once they're breaking in they're supposed to run you can get magazines 10 round magazines so a bullpup shotgun 12 gauge buckshot with 10 round magazines you talk about a perfect home defense weapon it's in the campsite down below let's talk about this the supreme court hands down a temporary but significant victory for gun control the court appears to be backing away from its shadow docket okay so this is by n mill heiser also the guy that did the uh, the uh, article the other day so full credit to those guys at vox uh all right the Supreme Court handed down a very brief order on Wednesday morning that offers gun regulation advocates a slightly surprising but likely short-lived victory. Okay, so that happens today. Okay, so it's interesting that they're actually taking uh, a stance, looking at these things, because most cases, you know, uh, they just push these gun things down the road. They just oh, they don't want to be involved with it. Okay, the order denies relief to litigants litigants challenging Illinois' ban on semi-automatic assault weapons and a similar ban enacted by the city of Naperville, Illinois, who had argued both violated the Second Amendment. Well, yeah, they do. And you know what's interesting is we're sitting here talking about uh, there's something that the Maryland uh, governor signed into law today, but I couldn't see it because they were blocking me or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Had these litigants prevailed in the nation's highest court, such a decision could have invalidated the assault rifle bans throughout the United States. That would be great. That would be really cool. Uh, one of the things that I'm looking forward to is getting out of this damn arm brace thing. We just got to figure out. They got to cancel that stuff. Uh, cause what I'm having to do now, because I'm not registering anything and I going through Maryland with a, a semi automatic firearm, uh, you don't want to get caught with it one and two, you don't want to get busted with something as stupid as that. And they'll, they'll Illinois will do that to you. Okay. So let's see this. That said, Wednesday order is only a brief victory for proponents of gun regulation. The case known as the national association for gun rights versus city of Naperville arose on the court's shadow docket. Okay. So he's going to, they're going to talk about the shadow docket and what that involves a hodgepodge of emergency motions and other expedited matters that the court sometimes decides without a full briefing or oral argument. In other words, they don't, they don't have a, a, a prosecutor or we call it a solicitor there for the government or anybody else trying to defend it. They just make the decision right Right then and there, John Crump, correct me if I'm wrong. The most likely explanation for the court's latest order is that a majority of the justices believed that this case did not warrant this expedited treatment. Probably not. Not that a majority of the court will ultimately vote to uphold assault rifle bans, notably Brett Kavanaugh, uh, a longtime proponent of legalizing assault weapons. Because an assault weapon, what is that? What is that exactly? That is just a firearm. It's a semi-automatic firearm, just like anything else. It's scary. Uh, the, he, he weighs as much as ten boxes. <laughs> Remember that, uh, Sheila Jackson Lee. The case will be heard by a federal appeals court in late June, and that court's decision may be reviewed by the Supreme Court under its ordinary less rush process for hearing cases. Okay, so big time to be in touch is in June. Nevertheless, court's brief order in Naperville case is significant, less because of what it says about the justice's approach to gun policy than because it suggests that at the least some key members of the Supreme Court have grown disillusioned with the court's once very frequent use of the shadow docket. All right, so we're not going to talk about that anymore, uh, but it, it says this. Um, they're looking at it. And it's going to be interesting when they eventually do come to a conclusion or a decision on this thing. The way you have to look at our Constitution, it's not done by interpretation, but it is done by reading it aloud and in doing exactly what it says. Uh, the Second Amendment is not a second-rate right. It is right up there with everything else, freedom of speech, right? 
these jackasses in, in government, they want to change things for with what they skew as our safety. So anyway, real short video there talking about the Supreme Court. That's where it's at. We're going to be doing a whole revamping of some uh, tactical style rifles that I feel like I'm going to have to start hauling around with me versus a 12 and a half inch AR-15 pistol. Uh, we're going to go with a full 16 inch barrel. We're going to put this thing together and, and we're going to talk about it, about why would we do certain things? My eyes are getting bigger. Do I want to do a two and a half to 10 scope or a low power variable optic at one to eight scope? Same radicals, doesn't really matter. What other items do we want to put on this thing? Do we want to have them detachable? That kind of stuff. So anyway, we're going to do that tonight, hopefully, if I get around to it. Uh, with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, interesting. This is going to be cool. Uh, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. KB32, hope you enjoyed it. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom. <laughs>